agent um, industry. I think I got rejected by about uh, five agencies before one took a gamble on me. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Black Excellence Series. Today we are sitting here with Maps and he is going to share his journey of entrepreneurship with us. Maps, how are you doing? Good and you. I'm good, thanks. Are you ready to get right into it? I'm ready to get right into it. Yeah. Okay, let's go. So the first question is, tell us about yourself. Who are you? Where do you come from? What do you do? Um, so my name is Maseho Mabogani, um, then known as Maps Mabogani, and I'm originally from uh, Rotia North in Soweto, to where I grew up in South of Johannesburg. I'm a TV presenter, um, actor, creative consultant, writer, film producer, um, I, yeah, I work in fashion, media, entertainment um, across the board um, in kind of different facets of what I just met, uh, mentioned right now. And then I'm also in entrepreneurship, so um, food retail, like this is where it runs out, and a couple of things within the tech space and, uh, and the financial space as well. What led you down the path of becoming a media personality? It was a mistake, actually. A um, mistake. If we specifically focus on that. Yeah, so when I was in um, in my final year in high school, um, in matric, um, my dad's company got liquidated and my mom um, had unfortunately been employed for a couple of years. And we were faced with a couple of challenges um, that then needed us to, um, well, that then needed me to kind of innovate as much as possible or come up with a way of being able to um, make money, save money, and, um, you know, pay for myself, essentially. Right. You know? My parents sacrificed so much to send me to the schools that they sent me to, and they they done their job, done their end of the bargain, and they were like, oh, you're on your own now, see what you can do to keep yourself um, going, and um, I wanted to be able to save money to, to go to varsity, so I took a gap year in my initial year, and I worked quite a bit, and how I got into the media industry was because um, when I had just finished the um, trick, as I mentioned, the following year in that gap year in January, my school sports master mm -hmm. had found out about this audition for a schoolboy rugby show. And um, they were looking for you know someone who they felt would be uh, perhaps like dynamic and love sports and uh, yeah. be able to speak in front of a camera and be able to kind of like carry a show. And it's something I'd never done before, but he's like, oh, there was this kid who has just matriculated and I think he'd be your guy. And I went for the audition and um, I think I had the audition the next day after I had found out about it when he me. And I did the audition and I got the job that got me started on, on television. At that point, one thing led to another and managed to get quite a lot of experience across the industry in different ways. Mm -hmm. And now, now I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. So there's something that I believe in, which is when you are meant to be somewhere, yeah. you will find yourself there, whether it is intentionally or someone recommends you for a job that you yeah. had no intention of ever doing, yeah. but you will find yourself there because that is fate, that is destiny. However, then it is up to you to give it your best, Absolutely. to work hard, yeah. to learn, and to take over. 100%. Yeah. I mean, with, with me, there's absolutely no doubt that it was all serendipitous to have ended up um, you know, even starting out with the next year, because I, I thought, okay, cool, I, I love I love people, I love sports, I love talking, I love television, I think maybe I could do this thing. Yeah. Um, and so it's it's also about like meeting that perhaps moment of like preparation um, in different ways of like knowing who you are and then how when opportunity meets that, taking that opportunity with both hands and making the most of it. And I've always been that person who, I'm in that position now and I've got this opportunity, I'm going to make the most of it and I'm going to make sure that I do it as well as I can and I'm going to do it damn good, otherwise there's no point in doing it at all. Yeah. And so I think that's always something that's like very, very important to keep in mind that like um, never kind of like half, half our the effort that you put into something yes. and, and that will always put you in good stead um, and ensure that like whatever it is that you're actually after, always ensure that you're prepared because it's while you're doing the preparation that as soon as the opportunity comes, you can absolutely um, take advantage of it and, and set yourself.